Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So we are doing our last minute harvest, you guys. Last minute. So we have a lot to harvest. You guys check this out. I want y'all to see this. Look. Our grapes. Yay. So our grapes are actually almost ready, you guys. They're almost ready. Try one and see. Is it squishy? <laughs> Is it squishy? Mm-hmm. Is it sour or sweet? Sweet and sour. So almost ready. Mm -hmm. Almost ready. More so sweet the sour. grapes are almost ready. Almost ready. Um, you guys, Japanese beetles really did a number. So I definitely know that I'll be dusting a little bit more with the Diatomaceous Earth. You guys, I am a Diatomaceous Earth fan now. Okay, Diatomaceous Earth is awesome. So we're gonna do some harvesting because uh, we've been getting more rain and we actually have a storm you guys coming and uh we're gonna have to do some some serious harvesting yes these are called so these are not stink bugs you guys they are actually called the um the name of these bugs are uh, this is our peach tomato look how cute so it's really fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can see the little fuzz on these beautiful tomatoes. It actually can feel it fuzz on them. And they're starting to bust open. These I'm just, you know, just kind of um, clean them up later. So, and as well, we have the Boston pickling that are ready. So these are actually almost over. So you can actually kind of see the yellowing. Um, of these cucumbers now you can just go ahead and let them go and really get them develop really nice seed um, when they start to turn yellow but I'm going to take them off because I will be leaving for a little while and I'm going to um, harvest all of them okay this is a nice one right here Marcy so yeah, I definitely when I get back I will be fence. pickling um, all of these cucumbers now I do like to pickle a lot of things like the cucumbers, sometimes even some of my peppers and um, yum, cause I really like pickles. <laughs> That's a nice size one too. Who's the one that's in our fence? You got one right here. Is that one in the fence? That one's actually just sitting. Oh. Sitting, ooh, it's heavy. So we're gonna harvest everything today. Everything, everything that we can possibly harvest um, today. But let me show you guys this one. This one so here is yellow. And when they turn this, they are great for seeds. Um, the seeds are developed in the uh, cucumber when they turn this color. I don't recommend eating it like this. Now you can eat them like this. I don't care for the taste uh, too much, but you can definitely still eat your cucumbers when they turn this color. Now they will be tangy, really tarty, but you can definitely still stir fry them. Stir fry them with a little bit of soy or something like that. And you guys, you get you a nice little, you know, dish, some yum yum sauce or some, what's the other sauce that I like? Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce and you got you a nice little dish. All right, so this is what we're harvesting so far. Any inside of the coop? Um, inside the coop? No. I'm gonna take this off. Take this off. He's busting wide open. So I'm actually gonna put this one with the rest though, but I can definitely get the seeds. Um, I forgot what these bugs are called, you guys. So these bugs are, what are they called? Not a ninja, oh, I forgot what the thing is called. But here is the um, honeycomb. Oh, you guys, the honeycombs are so good. I'm telling you, the honeycombs are everything everything the honeycombs are everything so we're gonna harvest mm. all these this cucumber is definitely eating this fence but it's a baby cucumber go ahead stick it out of there so it won't keep growing in there not possible so i will be coming out here and spray you guys because even though um even though there's a lot of these bugs up here i got to get rid of them because I just do not like to deal with all of these bugs flying at me. So <laughs> I got to get rid of these bugs because it's just not going to work for me. It's just not going to work for me. So I'm going to harvest 
all of these, all right? Look at the potatoes. Ah, the sweet potatoes. Looking really good. Really happy about the sweet potato. Um, I will like, I like to saute the leaves, okay? The girls are having a good old time in there, okay? You ready, girly? Let's go this way. So I'm just gonna go this way um, in the garden because I think I need to just check on a couple of items in the garden. Um, the corn is not ready, not just yet. Here is my brown turkey. This is my brown turkey fig. That's doing okay. That's doing okay. Are they supposed to get that big? Yeah, they get bigger than that. So the corn, uh, I don't think the corn's ready yet. A little bit longer. I think a little bit longer. What do you think there? Yeah. I think a little bit longer. All right, so we're gonna go here and we're gonna harvest you guys as much of our produce as possible. Can you get through the corn? Get through the corn. All right, so we're gonna harvest green beans real fast because we have a lot of beans. A lot of beans, actually. We gonna need the clippers for these because it's hard to cut them. This is the bush variety green bean. Beautiful green beans. Now I will be blanching these and freezing them. It just be a quick little, you know, blanch, a little bit of salt water and blanching them. They're really good. And we have a good bit of them, you guys that we need to harvest because the more we harvest, we definitely want to harvest our beans. The more we harvest, the more flowers they will keep putting on and the more flowers they keep putting on, more, the more beans we're gonna have. So we're gonna knock this out, you guys, and we got a lot of it to do. So, and we're losing sunlight, you guys. Yes, gardening never ends, right? <laughs> Garden never ends. You guys, I got on a sweatshirt. I know you guys, it is hot. It is hot, but um, I have been doing yard work all day. <laughs> I have been doing yard work all day, haven't I? I've been out here all day uh, catching up in the garden. And uh, yeah. Oh, a dragonfly, pretty cool. Can you guys see it? Can y'all guys see it? Haha, <laughs> we got a dragonfly. He's pretty cool. He's blending in, you guys. He's blending in <laughs> to the landscape. Smart, he came where everything was green. <laughs> right? Let's see. It's pepper. Beans. So, but yes, definitely harvest all your produce as much as you can because the more that we, um, hold on, my oh, camera. Just, oh, my camera just, okay. So, if you harvest your produce, the more you're going to get, okay, you're going to get more flowers to put on. So, harvest, harvest, harvest. Here. Ew. We need to check for the eggs too. Because I know the chickens have laid eggs this morning. I'm quite sure. So, so I definitely need to do that. So, we got to go harvest the eggs as well. We got to go gather the eggs up. Um, yesterday, we ended up with what? Eight, Eight. eggs? Eight. So. Eight eggs, so we definitely are. That's a joke. <laughs> it's a bush of the bushel, a bushel, a bush. <laughs> I know, so that's a joke. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's like one of those laffy taffy jokes, right? <laughs> Shout they corny till they funny. So. Uh, I would say so. Corny to look funny. All right. Do we get in? How many more plants I got here? Is that? 
So we are harvesting. Guys, I just love this. The best part about gardening is you finally get to come out and enjoy your work, you guys. Enjoy your accomplishment. You put in your time and you're gonna enjoy this process of being able to, especially for the new gardeners. So for the new gardeners, I think this is like, when you get your first, first fruit that you grew, oh, it's awesome. It's an awesome, awesome feeling. Okay, so it's awesome. All right, can you, that's it? That's full. That's it. All right, so we do got a little, we got a lot of beans. We got a lot of beans. We got tons of beans. Oh my God, you guys. Yeah, we got a lot of beans to harvest and we're losing sunlight. We're losing sunlight and I don't want to leave none of this on the plants so that when I get back, you guys, I can have more beans when I get back. <laughs> more food when I get back. So my head wrap is like, I don't know. Let's see you guys. I hope y'all guys can see through all this green, all these beans I have here. I see I need to clean up the bed floor as well. Yeah, I got a lot to prep and clear it out too. Yeah, look at that you guys, it's nice beans. This is uh, the bush variety beans that I sell on my website, okay? So if you want to get any seeds, go to head to bubyt.com if you're interested in getting uh, some of my seeds. You guys, that's a lot. Want some? You want some? Oh, it's a lot, right? I think this is the last plant, though. I think so. Whew. Ooh, Marcy. Ooh. Anything biting you? Nope. Just you. But you have a black head wrap on. Yeah, I know. You're attracted to it. Actually, you have anything. You have all dark colors on. So, definitely, you guys, we are harvesting uh, pretty much um, anything that is ready to go. Um, most of the peppers, you guys, is not ready. And not yet. But uh, we do have a great deal of things that are ready. And... Um, the melons are actually going to be ready soon as well because I actually seen some of them that are getting to a very nice size. So when they start to turn color and that tundra starts to uh, dry out next to it, then they'll be ready to harvest. All right, that's good, babe. That's good. If I leave these on, they're going to get too big. Oh, okay. There's some more still here, huh? I told you. It's a lot on this little plant here. That's okay. If it get too big, I'll harvest them for seed. You know me. I definitely will be having them for seed. The onions are doing good in here too. All right. So right here we have some of the Mirror Globe uh, tomatoes that are ready. These are nice sized tomatoes. I do need to come out here and spray as well with some some milk and water because I'm doing see a little bit of. Um, I do see a little bit of light, so. Oh, no. Okay. It's splitting, right? There's something in that one. Try to grab those back that way. So we have, back here in the back garden, we actually have, I don't even know how many varieties of tomatoes. This one looks like it's good to go. Stink bugs. This one's good. A little small one. How about that one? That one's good. All right, that's good. 
that's good it's not in there all right so then over here we got the cherokee purples okay this is a cherokee purple you guys i have to do some serious pruning back here when i get a chance look at that it's huge it's a nice no those are actually really sweet uh cherokee purple i'm actually gonna let those ones stay because they don't look that great and then i'll come back and compost them Ugh. oh oh i broke it did you break it look at oh, that i broke it oh, this yeah take it off you got it that is huge that is huge. How that one? How heavy is that one's heavier than this one? Tree. Ooh, that is a heavy, heavy tomato, you guys. OMG, this, I don't know, that's solid. I don't know, that one might be solid, more heavier than that pink ox heart. All right, so we actually have some squash that is still performing. And uh, we're just gonna let those sit till by the time we get back, they'll be nice and ready to go. The potatoes are still growing. They're not ready yet. But so far, we have gotten this much to, this we have gotten this much from our harvest. The peppers can stay. We're just gonna harvest our tomatoes. This is the Golden Jubilee. Now this is over here at the sand pit. This is the Golden Jubilee. I had a couple that, that one's already been ate on. So, and, uh, that's that the eggplant can stay as well we did have a windstorm that came and the windstorm you guys broke my branch just snapped my little branch snapped my branch of apples just snapped it right on off so we do got a little bit of apples not many but they did uh oh they did snap my apples let's head to the main garden we're gonna head to the main garden because the main garden is what really needs to be harvested right now. And we got a lot. Are you done these again? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. We got a lot of long beans. But next year, I was thinking about different, like a different plan uh, for the garden. Like maybe um, more of a designated space for certain things because. This year, the garden has really um, taken a hit with all this rain. So what I think I want to do is create an environment as well that has a lot of airflow so that um, we will get a better harvest and we don't have to worry about um, so much dealing with um, the plants getting any type of blight by being next to each other or in the airflow. But I will see, cause I have my little notepad, you guys. I have a little notepad. That notepad comes in handy, you guys. I'm telling you, always have a little notepad. It works out perfectly because then you get an idea of what you did last year or last season. And then you can just go back into your notes and kind of just give yourself an idea. Here, baby. Oh, it's It's okay. You, oh, that one's too big, see? Oh, that's too big. It's huge. We don't want that, but we're gonna let that one stay this for seed. It's long. Yeah, we're gonna leave that for seed though. Big old things. We can help you. Your hand ain't but so big. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So. You can eat these raw, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something bit me on my forehead, y'all. <laughs> right here. Something bit me. See that, y'all? Something bit me. And lucky I didn't catch it, you guys. I'll bite it back. <laughs> I will bite it back, but. What bingo? That's good. The bean we can leave the rest. And if anything gets too big, we just go ahead and, like I said, leave it for seed. But we definitely got to harvest all of the tomatoes over here. Tomato Alley is loaded, you guys. When I'm telling you, y'all ready? <laughs> Look. Huge. Whoa. Huge. Huge. A lot of work. But. Let's get these cucumbers. Look at this one, Marcy. It's a nice one. So we got some cubes that are ready. We're gonna harvest those. Which you guys can see I have already pruned. So please make sure you prune, you guys, on a regular. It keeps down some of this. Uh, 
keeps the airflow, you guys. You want the airflow, I promise you. It will work out for you if you create that airflow, okay? But let's get these tomatoes. So like I said, this one right here is the sweet one, sweet million. one million. Yeah. Okay. And we got a lot of them. And you guys, you won't believe how big this plant is. Um, I actually came back out here after filming the last video of harvesting the tomatoes. And you guys, I came back out and I did another uh, pruning on these tomatoes. And uh, they are humongous, you guys, humongous. We're gonna harvest even the orange ones because by the time I get back, yeah, they're not gonna be, you know, yeah, that'll work. All right, so we got those. And then, look at this. This tomato is just huge. You got your pruners? So, <clears throat> this one is the, make sure I remember, guys, on here. Let's see. This is the Beefsteak Masters. Huge, 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 huge tomatoes. And so, with most of my tomatoes, you guys, I eat my tomatoes fresh. I love making a fresh um, tomato salad. Um either that i love topping it with my omelet um i do have videos like small cooking videos that are out there on some of the things that i do with my tomatoes or even down to what my peppers my chard and things like that so if you want to check out the cooking video i do have a playlist on um how i go about cooking some things now i do want to make you guys more content on cooking and how i preserve my food but you guys let me tell you <laughs> sister girl be busy <laughs> I be so busy, you guys. I can't believe sometimes how much I do get done in a day, and uh, but I manage to do so. And uh, but the cooking videos do take a tad bit longer, a little bit more concentration on making sure that you put in all the elements that you guys would need, so you guys would know exactly what I'm doing. So that's why I haven't really been putting out too many cooking tutorials. But I will try my best, you guys, to put out some here or there, okay? Because I know you guys have been asking for them. But I definitely will do so because cooking is one of my family traits. My mom's a chef, so that is something we just enjoy and we grew up cooking, okay? So, but this one right here, you guys, is the Beefsteak Master. We're going to harvest this one. Clip that one for me. All the way to the top. Because they work. This is the Beefsteak Master's. These are nice size tomatoes, so I definitely, you guys, will be growing this again, okay? I don't think we got big enough bowls. Oh, no, we don't. So, we're going to harvest all of these. Nuh-uh, just clip it. There's still energy pouring in there. You just, you won't believe how, yeah. This one almost ain't no good. I'm putting a composter. That's nice. That's fine. See, everything's trying to split. So we have to we have to harvest even the orange ones. Go ahead and harvest all of them. The whole thing. All the way to the stem. So harvest it from the stem. Right here. Yep. We're gonna harvest even the orange ones. We can set this in the house on the counter. Harvest all of it. The whole thing. Even the green one? Mm. So I can cut that. Okay, this is nice. You got that one? I mean, these are beautiful, you guys. So check out this one as well, you guys. This is a nice, who like a tomato sandwich? A tomato sandwich. You guys, we are oh, literally are losing. To be red? Yes, that is a hot red cherry pepper mm. that is ready. So we're gonna harvest this babies. That one looked like it got that, what you call it again, huh? That's no good. Oh, it's split. Harvest this one too. It's, it's like it's gonna do that same thing, see? It's getting too much water. You guys, we supposed to have rain this whole entire week, you guys. The whole entire week. So it's a storm supposed to be coming up the East Coast. And you guys are mad though, for real. Something bit me right there, so yeah, something bit me. Probably a mosquito, you guys. I do not like stuff biting me at all. 
I feel like when something bite me, it's biting me all over. <laughs> I don't like stuff biting me. Okay, so but here's the basket tomatoes. Right here, this is a basket tomato. Oh, I can't even get it. Oh, those are nice. These are pretty. Huh. Pretty. It's still weird taste. Oh, yeah. They like little pumpkins, right? They like little they cute little decorative pumpkins, right? Ain't they pretty though? They really pretty. This one grew literally face to face. Look at that. Uh uh. Let me help you. They literally grew face to face. Look at that. It's weird. All right, put that on the basket for the baby. All right, let's see. It's okay. All right, so then we have here is the smaller beef steaks tomatoes we're gonna harvest all of these oh the plastic guys yeah these are plastic guys we call them the plastic guys <laughs> they do they just look real fake look at this look how they just shiny all right they just they look real fake real real fake i can't wait i'm sorry you can't get these ones yet baby but you're shipping me some i gotta ship you one yeah <laughs> number one hey got oh. you handful hey here you go I was, I was hoping they were got well, at least one of them would have got ready but unfortunately oh, it's it turning red it's, it's turning it's red. turning you want to grab that one and take it home with you Auntie. and put it on the counter go ahead take that one with you oh, it's turning red oh, <laughs> she's happy she's happy because that one is kind of turning red look at this pretty cool spider what spider oh it's like an oak spider, right? I think it's called I don't know. Oak. I didn't study spiders. So this right here is Mr. Scrapey. Oh my God, it's so pretty, y'all. <laughs> love that name. Mr. <laughs> Scrapey. So we're going to harvest Mr. Scrapey. All of it. The whole branch. We make a good chop. I don't want it to get it infected. Yeah. Wow. Y'all look at those. Oh my gosh. I, I wonder how much that way. One. Jeez. Have fun to figure that one out. We need a thing. And we got some more that are ready. These two in the front aren't, but these two in the back are. So we're going to harvest this one and this one. Mr. Scrapey. The green zebra tomato. Not ready yet. Here you go, baby. Thank you. You got it? Yeah, I'm for real. Something is just want to bite me. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So here's the Roma tomatoes. You guys, I only had one Roma. What was I thinking? You know, what was I thinking? But we got one. This is a Roma. Actually, you'll like a Roma. It's kind of sweet. It's a paste tomato. It's a paste tomato. tomato. Paste. No, it's for pasting. It doesn't have as much juice. The yellow cherry. I mean, the, it's not yellow, you guys. The white, white cherries. Cherry. But we're going to harvest these ox hearts. Oh, that one's really shaped like a heart. Wow. Look at that. Huge, huge, huge. Huge, huge, huge. Ooh. Nice. You and these books. Ooh. Literally, they're not touching me. They are really just aggravating me, I think. Yeah, they really, they really trying to get on my nerve, y'all. <laughs> These bugs. You know how I, feel with them chickens. I don't do bugs, y'all. I don't do bugs. Now you know how I feel with those chickens. I don't do bugs. Ooh, ooh. So you guys see, I've been working. See, I've been working. I've been working. I've been getting my garden together, you guys. Because of the green guy there. Oh, I didn't even see him. Did you? I didn't even see him. That one shaped funny. <laughs> That was shaped so funny. But um, I plant my tomatoes, you guys, in the same it spot. It looks like a heart. That one really looks like a heart. So I plant my tomatoes, you guys, in the same spot every single year. Um, I don't think about the crop rotation uh, because I garden all season long. There's always something in the garden beds. So I don't really too much worry about crop oh, rotation. Too short. Uh, what you expect? Uh, <laughs> so I don't bother uh, doing the crop rotation. 
so I just kind of just go with the flow with the, with um just you know I just go with the flow of just keeping my gardening um, consistent on what I do so then is it good <laughs> I saw you I saw you she snuck one y'all sweet she snuck one they are very sweet you gotta send some with grandma grandma would like these tomatoes oh yeah even these are getting ready look at that almost by the time i get back they'll be ready oh, too many <laughs> but the tomatoes you guys this is what i want to show you actually guys um this is what i want to show you is how big uh the tomatoes plants have grown oh there's another one mm, take this off okay so let me head you guys to the back of this fence of all the tomatoes so i can't wait to have all my stuff planted it's gonna be wonderful but here's the tomatoes so here's the tomatoes have grown all the way over i actually have already started to trellis them to the fence so i have these eye hooks down here at the bottom that has the attached um burlap string so that i can control them from keep them from moving back and forth you guys but as you guys can see all of these will be pinned down so as they grow they'll be in they'll be controlled by the eye hooks that i have in place but look at this you guys they just all of it just spilling over growing all the way down to the ground okay so i just really want you guys to see how big the tomatoes are so they're really really big they just are not just what you guys see right here they are growing beautifully and like i said i grow my tomatoes in the same exact spot every single year um there was a couple more things that i wanted to harvest because I, I am going to be pulling the squash out um the corn did fall over in the storm that we had um the other day that really sucked you guys a lot of stuff actually got snapped because let me show you we had bad wind and look my tomatoes snapped okay but that's okay but we have really have gotten a great harvest today i hope you guys enjoyed our harvest um anything back there i need to harvest huh no yeah yeah but that i think you guys is about it because it is starting to get dark and i don't really don't like bugs nipping at me <laughs> i'm gonna say that again i do not like bugs nipping at me so it is time for us to head on in um, after our beautiful harvest okay so she got some more tomatoes and i'm not quite sure what variety this tomato is um but oh my gosh you guys we do we have a lot look what look at this all of this tomatoes you guys look at that we got a ton we got a great deal of tomatoes just a crazy amount of tomatoes let's see even the honeycomb look at there more cukes we got more cukes look at there y'all see you know more cucumbers so we're gonna harvest those can you grab those too can i reach can i reach them uh, got that one and we got one more and one more I can harvest mm, I think that's it yeah that's it no Ugh. I think we need to go grab another bowl yeah we need to grab another bowl but oh my god these are the best i think i'm gonna have a snack with these right here you guys <laughs> not without you and we make a cheese tray with some tomatoes veggie tray 
That sounds good too. With cucumbers, carrot. You know what? My carrots did not, you guys, my carrots did not do right. Um, so I tried to grow me some carrots out into the sandpit garden and the cardboard that I had over top of it flew off because I forgot to put the brick down so that it won't blow away and it won't dry out. So after it flew away, you guys, I just was like, okay, with the carrots, but I definitely will be growing my carrots for the fall and that'll be planting carrots up. I will be planting carrots up very, very soon. So, yes. This is crazy. It's a wild, wild plant. Okay. So, but this is what I've been working on today. I've been working, you guys. I've been working a lot out in the garden. Um, I will be starting the herb bed uh, very, very soon. And we got to go to the chicken coop because I know the chickens have Maybe. eggs. You want me to go? <laughs> so, our chickens, our chickens, uh, I know they have eggs because I didn't harvest, well, I didn't gather I didn't gather up um, the eggs today. Um, this morning, I had every intention to go to the coop and gather uh, the eggs, but I didn't get a chance to gather the eggs. <laughs> the girls, the girls. Any eggs? Ouch. Any eggs in the coop? So I just put on this paneling. So, let's see. Hey, girls. Y'all had eggs? Do y'all got any eggs? Uh -huh. How many do you got? Let me see. I think two. Let me see I think two. I think two, though. You guys, I'm so proud of them. They're giving us some eggs. Huh, baby? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Who are you? Blue tag. Vanilla. 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 Bye -bye, vanilla. Baby. All right. So we're going to head out of the coop. All right, girls, we'll be back to make sure you are tucked in. All right. Excuse us. Excuse us, ladies. Excuse us, ladies. All right. So we have gotten our eggs. So you guys, we have had a busy, busy afternoon okay busy busy afternoon you guys i'm serious it's been a busy afternoon i have been working on cleaning the sand i'm halfway done you guys cleaning the sand and you guys when i tell you it's some serious work to get this work done i love the fact that my husband did get a chance to cut the trees like i told you guys and um, that really, really was a blessing that he was able to come out here and get that done for me, okay? But let's go ahead and end this now and show you guys our amazing harvest. And I always tell you guys, just keep on growing. Be happy with what you do have. I'm telling you, you can't be no more happier than to have your own food in your very own backyard you can go out and grab your fresh tomato fresh pepper onion gather up some eggs it's just a beautiful amazing feeling if you need some fresh herbs try to grow as much as you can in your very own backyard i'm telling you use all the space that you can okay all right you guys we are at the end of the video here is our harvest of the day you guys this was a lot of lot of work but you guys here is our beautiful harvest we actually have some beautiful massive sized cucumbers tomatoes beans you guys it was a wonderful wonderful day lots and lots of work but we are definitely about to end this video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel Hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I do upload a video. And I guys, I feel like another bug. <laughs> another bug just got me. But we are definitely at the end of the video. Like I said, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
at Beauty in the Garden. And like I always tell you guys, remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. Oh, and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, <laughs> you guys. Have a beautiful and blessed day.